Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video and one of the crazy ones and today I'm playing with decoupage and napkins I just remember that I got uh, one of these creative <laughs> hunches or whims uh, that I needed to act upon and I had recently bought a selection of really colorful napkins at IKEA uh, I always try to, to get a package or two of those when we are there and uh, these I got really inspired of so I, I remember I had seen an inspiration piece uh, somewhere and uh, I, I started to think that decoupage would be so much fun to work with so I did this background that you are going to see now I'm going to do strips of these colorful napkins and I'm using a thin a paintbrush dipped in water and then I'm painting a line on of water on the napkin and then it's easy to tear the the sheets apart or, or the, uh, make uh, a tearing uh, edge on that um, in that uh, line of water uh, you get the really nice and frayed edge and uh, it's uh, something I learned uh, back in the days when we all used mulberry paper uh, saxons on our layouts and this works perfectly fine with the uh, um, these kind of napkins so I'm even making really thin um, um, pieces there and uh, I will later adhere them to my paper with decoupage uh, glue or mod podge I think I'm using this time uh, this technique is very uh, fun and uh, you it's it's so uh, like creatively uh, inspiring to be able to to tear um, just the way you want just paint the line and, and you can uh, just softly pull apart the the fibers in the tissue paper I'm working on a piece of uh, white cardstock and I'm using um, no I'm using uh, uh, clear uh, gesso as my uh, glue on this one so <laughs> neither decoupage glue or mod podge so uh, clear uh, guess how it is so I'm gluing uh, onto this uh, paper and I'm uh, even putting some uh, of the uh, gesso on top of the um, napkin but m mainly I'm just layering and uh, trying to uh, put the paper in place with the paintbrush and uh, this I think this is really fun and wait until you see what I'm going to do with it it will be just perfect the, just a perfect layout for uh, napkins uh, and uh, this technique uh, I thought these colors were really fun and I'm mixing like crazy it's uh, purple and it's orange and it's yellow and it's red and it's uh, mm, yeah totally crazy but I thought that would be fun and uh, for for this purpose that I'm using this layout it will be just perfect so I'm playing and uh, I'm having a really a good time I remember when you used to have uh, really nice uh, patterned napkins and uh, cover boxes and, and everything that you can come up with uh, really really fun now I'm even placing a piece of uh, that uh, paper on top of another piece and that works just perfectly. I'm making that frayed edge um, stay visible because I, I made a lot of effort <laughs> making it so I, I wanted to show. It really gives a lot of texture to this background and uh, since the paper is so thin it doesn't add a lot of bulk. It, it, it sure adds some uh, bulk but not as much as it gives dimension. Now I have let this piece dry for a while and I'm using a large scissor just to cut off the excess. Uh, that was rather impossible to, to work with while the glue uh, or the gesso still uh, was still uh, wet so I'm just cutting off the edges there uh, when it's uh, dry. And here are the photos there are four photos of us uh, taken this summer when we went from Norway back to Östersund where we had our hotel room and uh, it was really late at night uh, our son had fallen asleep in the car 
and uh, the rest of us was really tired and uh, we wanted to, uh, we needed to have a, a late night uh, dinner and uh, the area we drove in weren't really um, didn't give a lot of choices uh, it was a lot of countryside and uh, it was far between the the different places where you could uh, just uh, stop at this time and and have uh, something to eat so eventually we came to one of these uh, skiing uh, villages and we went to uh, a hamburger uh, bar there and had hamburgers and uh, fries and uh, my uh, son there he had fallen asleep but the just the sight of um, hamburgers <laughs> made him uh, awake and uh, of course he wanted to eat as well so I thought that these a uh, napkin uh, that this napkin background would suit a hamburger layout just perfectly and this uh, special um, hamburger uh, chain they have a very colorful and rather mm, like orangey red uh, kind of color in their logo and uh, I thought it suited this even more and the interior design of this place it was just hilarious so totally crazy uh, colors like green and orange and everything mixed up together so so the the craziness of the color combination really suited these photos because in the photos you even see the, all these crazy uh, combinations going on and their logo and uh, just the food and everything now I'm pulling out a couple of papers from the plus one collection that I have in the 12 by 12 paper pack and uh, I'm making a mat or a foundation for my photo uh, block there I placed the photos uh, in a row they are half size photos that I I have really gotten into using these half size uh, and it's really fun uh, to have a, a smaller size to work with especially since I love multi-photo pages I think it's perfect to make them a bit smaller so that you can uh, have even more on your page so even though this is a four page layout I think that I r use the, the, the layout or type of a one pager so uh, a one photo uh, page uh, and uh, that gives the, the scrapbooking a lot of more uh, a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, you can think in a different way and uh, still get a lot of photos on your page so I'm just layering some pieces of that um, from that collection and I'm inking the edges to give them a bit more definition against this crazy background I was really inspired by this decoupage technique and I think that I will try to use it more in the future because I can think of many many reasons to to use the tissue paper as a, um, like a, a combinating texture on your page it, it, it looks almost like fabric it gives this warm kind of um, fussy uh, feeling uh, that kind of um, softness and uh, yeah the, the the motion that you get from these edges that are irregular and uh, they, they seem more natural than anything that you can come up with with a thicker paper and uh, I think that even if you work white on white I think this is a really really interesting technique and I, I want to explore it more uh, you don't need to go this crazy with all these bold colors uh, not at all I think that perhaps one piece uh, or of colored uh, uh, napkin paper or uh, a white on, on white would be stunning for, for the right kind of photos now I'm uh, working on a title this title has a story uh, my uh, son who is uh, quite an, a word artist he has misunderstood the word of hamburger so he says hand burger and I guess that's a, co a common um, misunderstanding because you you mostly hold the hamburger in your hand 
but I, I think it's 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 so cute and so fun and and uh, in a way I even think it's more clever <laughs> to call it hamburger so that will be my title for this page uh, especially uh, it's really suiting since uh, my son is in one of the photos and he is holding his uh, hand hamburger <laughs> in his hand and uh, you can always also see the, the rest of, of our food there so it's a fun way to remember this um, his, his word uh, for all eternity and time <laughs> my scrapbooks will live on forever uh, and uh, since i needed uh, a bold title to stand out of this um, page i used the black uh, it's one of my go-to uh, colors for all kind of titling. Uh, it gives that uh, newspaper kind of feel that I love so much. Uh, my scrapbooks pages are pages in my newspaper or my magazine and, and I want it to, it to be like that. I'm adding some explanation titling with uh, uh, alpha stickers uh, on below the photo so I'm uh, I'm just spelling out that it was a late night dinner and where we uh, had this dinner and uh, it's a it's a fun it's a fun page I think it will be eye-catching <laughs> in the album for sure I don't know if you saw that but I also outlined the uh, pattern paper that I used to match the uh, photos on uh, also just to to give it a more definition uh, against that background and uh, I think that it worked just perfectly uh, other than that I don't think that this page needs any kind of frame but I will also bring out a uh, roller stamp and give some small accents on this page and I'm stamping with uh, black ink and uh, it's just a couple of words here and there on the page so this is uh, the finished page and I'm really happy that I could use this uh, fun technique uh, on such an appropriate um, page for these uh, burger uh, photos. I hope that I have inspired you to think differently uh, about these uh, thin papers that are available all around us in all these nice and fun colors. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. This is Wasa. Bye.